mr president i think we should all as has already been said thank mr nassauer for his work on this first reading agreement and also i think the commission particularly for helping us get there in the end. but it has been and will be as mr medina has just said a noteworthy first reading agreement. it is historic in the development of the codecision process and particularly for this house to be involved in setting penalties in relation to criminal law. it really is a noteworthy development. this directive will at last bring legal certainty in an area where before we have witnessed a rather undignified ping pong between the european court of justice and the various arms of the european legislature. now we have some certainty and some clarity. but above all it of course is a big plus for protection of the environment. over the years as a member of the petitions committee i have noted that it is damage to the environment that most frequently brings our citizens to seek our help in implementing what they see should be european law. now at last we will be able to say that we have or should have the effective means to make sure that european environmental law is indeed implemented and enforced as our citizens expect across the european union. but not only that i think for this parliament there is also here another strong message. one of the things we insisted on in this agreement was the so called correlation tables that we would be able to see in this very complex piece of legislation exactly where member states insert european legislation into their national law. this is something that we are serious about as a parliament and at last we have been heard. i think it goes a long way to showing our competence and growing effectiveness as a legislature which augurs well for the coming entry into force of the Lisbon Treaty. Thank you. Thank you, Diana.